Hello. Hello. Are we all doing well? Most of us fairly disappointed that a child just walked on stage. <laughs> he didn't even like Home Alone. Damn. <laughs> Uh, my name's Daniel, I'm 23, uh, which is weird, being young, doing stand-up comedy. I uh, can't do stuff older comedians can do. You'll see older comedians that come on stage and brag about having sex with women half their age. <laughs> <laughs> Tends to be frowned upon, really. Um, I moved out last year, that was a big step in my life, moving out for the first time. It's very hard when you move out. Uh, not just hard on you, hard on parents as well. Uh, sorry, not parents, parent. Um, whenever a child moves out, there's always one parent that cares. <laughs> and the other one, meh. And I'll see if you can guess which one of my parents was more upset when I moved out. You've obviously got two choices. You've got my loving, caring, friendly, beautiful mother. Or, or my stepdad. <laughs> now, I'll give you another clue. He's not actually my stepdad. I just call him that to piss him off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, like, if you ever need to know how difficult it is being a parent, ask any parent. They will happily tell you. Like, parents will always do the thing you just don't know. You don't know the love that you're capable of feeling until you hold that baby in your arms. You think you know love, you don't know love. <laughs> Not until you've held that baby in your arms. You don't know the fear. You don't know the fear that you're capable of feeling. If you think your child's gone missing, even if it's just for a second, even if it's just for a second, you can't fathom the fear you feel when you think your child's gone missing. Yes, I can. I imagine it feels exactly like this moment. What? Yeah, Brian's coming. Well, I don't know. I'll call him. I'll call him. <laughs> Oh, my life was nearly over. Oh, oh, there is no way I could have possibly gone on. Because losing your phone is worse than losing a child. Because if you lose your child, at least you still have the photos. And you can make another baby. <laughs> I can't get drunk and accidentally make an iPhone. That's never happened. It takes nine months to make a baby. I've got 14 months left on my contract, okay? Like, my mom's had four kids. So you can tell that she loves us all the same, but after the first two, she kind of stopped caring. She'll always go about, she was blessed with me. Then she was gifted with my sister. Then she had my brother. And she'll always remember the day that she was diagnosed with the other one. <laughs> um, we were all intentional though, uh, which is good. My mum uh, has a very healthy outlook to contraception, which is great because her sister is anti-abortion, which is a cruel nickname, but she's had five. <laughs> I'm as surprised as you are that they let me do that joke. I... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm shocked. Um, I'm single as well. Because um, I'm, I'm a... No, don't lie to me. I, I'm a terrible boyfriend. Like, you always have to do the things when you're in a relationship. For example, telling a girl that she's the most beautiful girl in the world. I never told my ex-girlfriend that she was the most beautiful girl in the world. And that was for personal reasons. It's because she wasn't. And not in a bad way. She was very good looking, but my logic is there are 3.5 billion women on earth. There can be only one most beautiful girl in the world. That's how it works. That's what that means. So all I'm saying is that statistically, probably wasn't her, okay? She was livid, right? She stormed out halfway through my PowerPoint, right? Just left crying and phoning her mum. It's the same reason I've never bought my mum one of those mugs that says world's best mum on it. Because she's not. She's a good mum. She's a fantastic mum. I love my mum to bits. But there are mothers in Africa who 
who travel 17 miles every day carrying liters of water on their head just to get their kids something to drink. Now, I visited home two weeks ago and my mum made me go to the shops to buy some milk. <laughs> She's just not trying. Thank you, Diana Starr. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you. That was great.